We're live, we're live, we're live, and welcome to the Empowerment Duo, uh, to live, <laughs> to let's talk about it with the Empowerment Duo. I am Lisa Santiago McNeil, and uh, we are the Empowerment Duo, and today's topic is the common cold. The common cold, honey. I'll talk about the common cold. Come on down how do you get it? How do you keep from getting it? Uh, no, what no, no, no. That's how not do you what cure I want to it. Go. Okay. I don't, want to, I don't want to go about how do you get it? How do you cure it? Okay. What do you want to do? We're titling this show The Common Cold. Mm -hmm. However, what we're going to talk about is how we treat our targets, goals, and the things we're going for. Now, the inspiration behind this topic is. Uh, and I've known this for a long time, and a lot of you have known this for a long time, too. Mm -hmm. But scientists and doctors, a lot of times when folks have a common cold, they say, mm -hmm. they say it's because that person is either mentally or physically tired, and their body is giving them a condition that's going to force them to the take time. a break, to take yeah. a time out. Mm -hmm. Yes, to sit home. Sometimes you get too sick to go to work mm -hmm. because your body is telling you, it's been taxed and it needs to recharge a little bit. You know, that's what you're doing. So you get a common cold that makes you stop working for a little while. Well, it should. But in our in this day and age, people don't. That's why we've got all of these uh, symptom inhibiting uh, drugs and medications. Right. Treatment trying, symptoms. Yeah. That are trying to do that are trying to go against what God want it to happen. Now, just as easy as we can find studies that talk about like I like a what? Bill said you sound like you ran to the show. I know. <laughs> you seen the opening scene from um <clears throat> Five Heartbeats where he runs from the he had a gambler, he was gambling, and then he had to run from the gamblers, and then he just raced from the gambling number to chase them, and then he runs on the stage and ah all that. That's what I'm doing. At least it knows I'm running. Cause she's like, "Oh, we got two minutes," so I had to hurry up and grab the water, run upstairs, take that down, and in here. And now I'm talking. Okay. And today is day one of our three day detox. So today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The next three days, you're gonna see us having yogurt in the morning, and cabbage throughout the day. That's cabbage it. Cabbage soup throughout the day, no, and we three days. Uh, either fish or turkey and greens uh, for the evening meal. Now, I was starting to say, just as easy as you can find studies that say when people get a common cold, it's because they're tired mentally or physically. The con you find the converse as well. People can go for a long time without getting a cold by focusing and by being happier. When you're happier and when you're focusing on what you're going for, your targets, your goals, things like that, some people um, get a whole lot less cold. It increases your immunity. It increases your immunity when you're happier or when you're going for your goals or targets regularly. When you have your mind engaged it does, on something that you want, that's the key. When your mind is engaged on something you want, you don't get as tired physically mm. or mentally. Good morning, Julie Ray. Good morning. I used to remember um, playing basketball regularly. I could play ball all day. 10 to 10 and we have enough energy for each new game. For, even if I had played all day and somebody else wanted to play another game, I could find the energy for that. Why? Because I loved playing basketball. Mm. Okay. I loved it. Yeah. Just like that uh, sudden energy burst you get at the end of the day. Yes. Yeah, so many people. <laughs> when quick time hits. Hey, Billy Bronco. Good morning, Kelly. My cousin, he's, Curtis, he's telling me the story because he worked corporate like that. He said, Brian, I marvel every day at five o'clock. These people who were lazing around all day at About five o'clock, this is in New York, they run to the subway, okay? <laughs> when they find the energy for that, they race to the subway from they, their office. They found the energy because it transmuted from what they had to do to what they <laughs> wanted to do. Good morning, yes. Melissa. So, Good morning, so exactly. Jeffrey David. We Thank find so the energy for what we want so often and so easily. Mm -hmm. And and I and I know and I wonder if there then is something to having things to look forward to. It is having something to look forward to that jazzes you up. Yes, I think personally, I think vacations do that. 
when I'm coming. I think the, the planning of a vacation, not the taking of the, the vacation, the planning of the vacation. I often feel that I find myself filled with inspiration and, 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 and hopefulness and all of those things as, um, as I'm waiting for vacation to come. Like it's planned or in the planning stages. Like a lot of children are much happier before Christmas than they are on Christmas. They're happier the day before the first day of school. Yeah. And then the day of school. <laughs> yeah. It's something about the anticipation of that. Yeah. What do you say? What what makes things what do you think increases your autoimmune session? system. Now we're talking the today's topic is the common cold. That's what we called it. But what we're actually talking about are people who find the energy and they find the health health to move them towards what they want. Having Lisa said anticipating something upcoming, like a wedding or an event or a vacation. You know, you could find energy for that. That jazzes you up. And if you're not in a place where you're jazzed up right now, then then going by what we're talking about today is an easy fix to it. You know, you can you can um, um, plan something, anticipate something, set a target for yourself. Mm -hmm. and that will help your health even. Or be looking forward to something like this Saturday's Global Domination Mindset. The showcase, you can register for it in the link in the description. Understand that while it is a free event, the benefits of your registration are phenomenal. You will have the opportunity to get lots of takeaways from the speakers. And we have seven amazing and powerful speakers, Marlon Smith, Cortez Springer, William Brown, Sir Charles Carey, Johnny Campbell, and Dr. Frank Marshall. They're all going to bring their own individual form of a mindful domination. Think about the people that are on that day, yes. Sir Charles Carey regularly gets $5,000 or greater for him to come and give a 20-minute talk. But he's coming to speak with us for free. And Johnny. Johnny Campbell Marlin. makes his whole livelihood speaking. One of the best, he was the number one speaker in Toastmasters for one year. Okay. These are pro um, profound people mm -hmm. that we have here. Dr. Frank Marshall hangs out with billionaires. How many people you know are friends with or even one billionaire? And why does a bill one billionaire? Yeah, well, he's got a few of them. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and why do billionaires want to be his friend? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What can you learn from somebody like that? Because if, if we believe that your net worth is your net worth, then maybe you need to hang around with some people with a higher net worth so that you can fix those averages. Because some of these averages is weak. Dr. Frank Marshall said to me one time, he says, hey, Brian, why don't you and Lisa come on down to the island and we'll hang out at the castle. <laughs> <laughs> he wants us to come down to the island and hang out at the castle. You think? Hey, Shakita, good morning, Sundar. Thank you guys good for morning, joining Shakita, us. How are you? Hey, What's up, Sundar? How you good doing? Good morning, Tori. Thanks Global so much. Global Domination um, 2021 is going to happen this Saturday at 4 p.m. Uh, Lisa's already flashed the flyer. You'll see, it, you'll see it again, I'm sure. This broadcast here, we got seven amazing um, thought leaders, seven amazing thought leaders. They're going to show you how to get your mind right to dominate 2021 going into the year. Do it one time for them, baby. Global domination. Hit your move for them. <laughs> Global domination. Ching, ching. 2021. I love it every time she does that because she's saying it. She's putting emphasis on it and she's getting physical with it. She's enacting more and more of her senses. So every time she says that, it gets it gets imbued deeper and deeper within her spirit. Shout out to my mom. I know she hates that I'm eating on the broadcast, but we have so few moments to get everything done in our mornings that some of the stuff has to be combined up. Together. Shout out to Cortez Springer on the Cortez Hustle Show. Oh, this yes. morning at 8 a.m., Lisa and I were his guests on his show. And Cortez is now going to be bringing the Cortez Hustle to our network, 7 a.m. Central. We're excited. We're looking forward to that. Absolutely, absolutely. Good morning, Arthur Lynette. Good morning, Brother Kelly. Good morning, William Brown. Good morning, Melissa Price. How are you guys doing? Melissa says, good morning. Um, Julie Ray Hammond says, looking forward to powerful stage 
to a powerful stage. Looking forward is powerful stage of living life anticipation. Amen. Uh, good morning, Lynette, Arthur Lynette. Happy Founders Day to the Deltas. Mm -hmm. so, the Deltas. Good morning to you guys. Okay, we got that comment, I think. Yeah, we got him. You got him all. And William Brown was actually there on the Cortez Hustle show with us this morning. Absolutely. Vivian came on and watched for a little while as well. Bill says, I love it. Every time she says it, the guns come out. Dominus. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Do that. I have to. I have to. It is an energetic call, an energetic pull. It is it, it is this the other layer for those of you who bought the guided journey within. Know that manifestation it is 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 accelerated when you layer upon layer upon layer all of the senses and the guided journey within includes something for your ears something for your nose something for your taste something for your touch there is something in there to engage all of those senses so that when you are focusing on the things that you want to manifest you're creating an energetic uh, a flow that will bring it to you sooner. When you are focusing on the what? The things that you what? Lisa just said. When you're focusing on the things that you want to manifest. It's in chapter two of Think and Grow Rich, the chapter on desire, okay, which is the starting point of all riches, which is the starting point of all achievement. Desire. No, baby. <laughs> but he gives, he gives the formula. He says, write out specifically what it is that you desire. Write it out specifically on a card so that you can read it. He says you're supposed to read that thing that you want specifically first thing in the morning when you first wake up. Read it, okay? He says read it again after your midday meal. Read it again. That's the second reading. And the third reading is right before you retire to bed. But this third reading, he wants you to do it specifically. The third reading, he wants you to write down the thing that you want specifically in the mirror out loud with feeling. You okay. want to say it in the mirror. Out, out loud, loud with, with feeling. feeling, with emotion. Okay. Now, one more thing I forgot to mention. He wants you to write out the thing that you desire as if you're in possession of it already. I'm very happy that I now earn $25,000 per calendar month through my business. Okay. Great. Okay. Now, I'm happy about it. I'm acting, as, I'm writing as if it's in the present. I'm reading it when I first wake up. I'm reading it after my midday meal and right before I go to bed in the mirror with enthusiasm. And he says, do this for 30 days. Okay, do that for 30 days. Now, you may keep that habit going longer. He says, but in 30 days, watch what happens to your whole world. Bill says, I recently updated my word for the year because of the energy. My word was transcend. Now it is great. Your word was transcend, and now it is great. I wonder what the thinking was behind going from transcend to great. What was what was the impetus of the transition? Well, what does the word great mean to him? That, yeah. I think there's a lot of weight in that because it could mean a lot. Oh, well, great has a lot of different meanings. Mm -hmm. It absolutely does. So greater. How are you feeling? It's greater, not uh, not great. It's greater. How are you feeling? Are you feeling tired yeah. right now? Are you feeling like you need to go back to bed? Are you fully awake, fully engaged, ready to take on this day? I used to work with a company and um, the owner's office was right there at the front of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go, the, the door to go in the buildings here, his office is over there. And he had a big plate glass window there. And he's standing that window and he'd watch his salespeople and he'd watch his staff as they come to work. And one day he had, I always showed it to work 30 minutes early. So one of the days he had me come in there. He says, Brian, I look, I want you to just watch with me. I can tell by the, by the way people make it from their car to the building that who even has a chance at being successful today? Who even has a chance at making a sale today by the way they come to the inside the building? Mm -hmm. The people that meandered have no chance, he felt. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he right? People that came in enthusiastically, yeah, they have a chance that day. I think so. I think so. Beverly, good morning to you. She says, good morning, 2021. Fantastic people. How are you all doing? 
Fantastic and amazing. Thank you for asking. Ms. Vivian says, rising to greatness. Rising to greatness. Be rising, my sister. Be rising. We want to continue to move and levitate and evolve and, and, and mature into the greatness that we are intended to be. Good morning, Ms. Phyllis. Thank you for joining as well. We're excited to have you guys with us on the uh, the journey, the 2021 journey is so funny. Now, Lisa just mentioned that we're we're starting today a detox. So for the next three days, we're only going to have yogurt and and fruit in the morning, and then cabbage soup throughout the day. I think for three days. So and then fish and uh, greens for dinner. So because morning. I know that's what we're going to do for three days, every little bit of yogurt in this thing <laughs> <Yeah>. is important. <laughs> But she tried to take my yogurt. It, it I was, was gonna have a problem. Fight. I was gonna have a problem. Girl, that's all I get. Take all I got. You know, you've had a handful of nuts too. I'm gonna have oh, see. <laughs> Lisa had a handful of nuts this morning. Oh! <laughs> I need y'all to and help. It, and it made me happy too. <laughs> Don't be starting with me, baby. Anyway. Oh, my goodness. I need you all to extend your hands and pray for me. Try to uh, take care of this man and do my job. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Uh, Ms. Vivian over here cracking up. Uh, that's right. It's a detox. It's a three-day detox because it's supposed to help you to isolate what you may be allergic to, what things you may not tolerate well, what may cause inflammation in you. And so we got to take out some things and now put in some things. Oh, and we got to drink lemon water all day. Okay. I'm willing to do it. I raised my hand. She she put together this, this diet plan, told me about it, and I'm signed up for it because I know I need to do something different. Okay. We need to do something different. So I'm willing to do that. Um, Beverly says, good morning, 2021. Fantastic people. How are y'all are? How you all are doing? I appreciate that. Um, the so common cold. The common cold is the name of the topic for today. But I'm using the common cold as a metaphor hmm. for moving towards something, away from something else, because they say people that get a common cold get it because they're either mentally or physically tired. Mm -hmm. And the people that don't get a common cold are because they're going for something and they're happier. Mm. So the formula, if you want to catch a cold, be unhappy, be unhappy, don't have any goals or targets, then you're in a position to get a cold. But if you work on being happier and have goals and targets, that's a formula for not getting a cold. Absolutely. Stacy. thank you so much, Dr. Stacy. She has extended her hand because sure. I am in need of prayer. She mm -hmm. says, hand extended. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Glenda, he spilled the beans. He don't keep nothing. What are you, talking, like about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, baby? He don't keep nothing. Baby, pray tell whatever it is that you need. Whatever yeah. do you mean? Uh, Beverly says, now, Brian, you are going to need uh, wipes instead of tissue? What? I don't even want to know what she's talking about. What? <laughs> Beverly, what are you talking about? Good gracious. See, sometimes context is lost online. Yes. I think she's talking about because of all the... Demona DeBru says both hands... Extended. Thank you, Demona. Demona so, actually joined us on the Cortez Hustle Show. This absolutely. Month. And hopefully she'll win the vacation. Because uh, Cortez is doing Cortez, then we're going to find out what it takes to be able to do uh, those, to be able to give away those kind of vacations to our audience as well. Are you talking about going. my comment about the? Is that what y'all talking about? Yes, that's what everybody's talking about. How could they not be talking about Everybody's talking everybody, about Everybody, all oh, around the world. Not everybody, baby. Is MC Hammer talking about it? Yes. Okay, it is not. No, we not. run MC Hammer, Dr. Dre, I'm everybody. Not about it either. Um, Ms. Vivian says many things factor into health and wellness, not just eating. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Demona, I am praying for you to win the vacation as well. She said, I need a vacation. Speaking of which, Amen. we are going hey, on a vacation on the 21st of this month. We're going to go to the mountains. From We're going to watch from the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be gone for uh, five days, uh, four days and five nights. No. Uh, four, five days and four nights. Five days and four nights. Yes. We're going to go to the mountains to get a little break, you know. Yes. Uh, we're going to have two other couples with us. Absolutely. And we're going to have us a good time. There's a pool table in our room and hot tub. 
and we're gonna have a good time. Yep. The pool table is not in our room, it's I in the it, cabin. Okay, it's in the cabin. <laughs> not in the room, but not in our bedroom. <laughs> it's in the cabin. Oh, Beverly says you're gonna need uh wipes instead of tissue, talking about the detox. Okay. Because of what the detox is going to do to you, it's going to move something. Oh, really? That's yeah. what she's saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're eating nothing but liquid, because cabbage is liquid. Um, Demona the Blue, I take all the prayer I can get. I need all the prayer I can get. Please be praying. For him. <laughs> Good morning, Michelle, the author of I've Been There. I've been there. I've been there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So Michelle can also relate to the value of taking a break from time to time. Yes, you need a break. You need a break. But you also need something to anticipate. You need uh, some. Uh, the, what are the things we, we always talk about, the, the ways to have a great day? Yeah, the three factors. The three factors. To have a great day. This is from the great Jim Bob. Right, Billy. Billy Bronco. I'm sorry. Billy Bronco says um, that the pool table, Brian, you practicing for me? Yeah, Billy, I'm practicing for you. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Okay, I'm practicing for everybody. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Demona. She says, happy birthday, Lisa. I was celebrating with my daughter on yesterday. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yay. Three factors to have a great day. Number Three. one, and they're all the same. Spend some time in thought. Spend some time in thought. If you will spend some time in thought, okay? Number two, have a big laugh. A big belly laugh. A big <laughs> laugh. At least one. Number three is have your emotions moved to tears. Either happy tears or sad tears. Happy or sad. Yep. But if you have those things, three things, time and thought, where you're thinking about something real, a big belly laugh, and your emotions move to tears, that's a great day. And if you have a bunch of those days, you end up with a great life. Absolutely. Um, Beverly says, wow, I'm tired as hell, but I haven't had the common cold in 40 years. Amazing. I must be doing something good for me in the midst of the journey. Amen. Hey, good, good morning, Tamara. Um, she hasn't had a common cold in 40 years. Yeah, we were talking about that. We haven't had a cold uh, probably 2017. Um, the last time one of us two got six, I think it was 2018, you had a cold. Okay. And I had yeah. a cold in 2017. Yeah. But but that's not to say anything. But I love Beverly's testimony because I believe you. I believe you, Beverly, that you haven't had a common cold mm. in 40 years. Um, because people that are going for stuff, people that are happier, people that have goals and targets, they tend to not have colds. Yep. That's what the studies have told us. Good morning, Sister Tamara Atwater. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Miss Vivian says she feels good today. Well, we're happy you feel good today. You should. Beverly says, wow, I am tired as hell, but <laughs> 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 you're not tired as hell. <laughs> you good? So absolutely. So how then can you continue to protect yourself and your immune system. And I'm not talking about the how with the essential oils. I'm not talking about the how with echinacea. I'm not talking about the how with vitamin C. I'm not talking about the how with any vitamins that you can take. I'm talking about the how psychologically, mm -hmm. mentally, and emotionally can you protect your immune system. Bill Brown reminds us that today at 11 a.m. Eastern on One Word Conversations, the word of the day is genuine. And his special guest is Sheila Doffler, uh, all the way from Australia, right here on the Empowerment Duo page in the Empowerment Network. Go genuine, not genuine, huh? Genuine is not how I would say it. So you go genuine. I go genuine. What about that um, singer? Is his name genuine or genuine? Well, he actually has a W. Okay. So it is that his W? Yeah. I didn't even realize he had a W. Yes, his W I N E. Genuine. Genuine. What is he saying? He sings. Um, Pony, right? Oh, yeah. My mom likes that song. Pony. I like that song, too. You and my mom. Y'all old as hell. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Martis used to love that song. Pony? Yes. Uh, I hate that song. <laughs> that sound. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah. I, like I don't that. like that sound either, but I like the song. I better um, say, just don't have time to be sick. How about sick. that part? Now, mothers sometimes go through this dynamic. They got to be mom. They got to be wife. They got sometimes they got to work too. I don't have time to be sick. <laughs> Demona likes that song too. All of you old ladies that like that song, Pony. <laughs> William Brown says, "Also today is my 30 year anniversary with my beautiful wife, Delila Brown." Wow, 30 years! Congratulations! Ooh, time for a break. 
for me. Get the girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get no upgrade. I keep you. I keep you. Let me tell you something. Someone that's been married for 30 years, first off, it means a couple of things. Um, that means they've learned some stuff about each other. That means they pick themselves up after having been knocked down because you don't get to do 30 years no. without having overcome some things. Absolutely. To make it to 30 years of marriage is an accomplishment. Congratulations, because you guys had to overcome some things, T-H-A-N-G's, to get to this place. Absolutely. Shout out to Bill Brown. Beverly says, oh, my God, yesterday's word done was an awesome show. She Good really job, Bill Brown. Awesome, awesome, Good Bill. job. Awesome, awesome. I can't wait to hear from Bill on Saturday. Saturday, because Bill Brown's going to do what? He is one of the powerful and dynamic global domination mindset speaker. That dais, that lineup of speakers, what would it take for you to pay for them? How would you get them? You can't get them. And it's a testament to, I think it's a testament to the good works that they've done and also that we've done. Because Absolutely. they're our friends, and they were willing to do this for their friends. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. Charles Carr is expensive to hire, okay? But he's willing to do this for our friends. You guys can show up with this without putting any money out of your pocket. But you need to register because I'm telling you, the registration, first of all, this is not going to be one of those broadcasts that you can come back and watch the replay whenever you want. Oh, it no. comes down. In 24 hours, it comes down. And only those who have registered will have access to the replay and all of the special gifts that the speakers are providing. They're providing ebooks, they're providing uh, training videos, they're providing possibly vacations. We don't know. They're providing yeah, lots yeah, and lots of things. Of the year, Absolutely. You need this to dominate. You need this. Uh, Melissa says stress has this nasty little habit of breaking down the immune yes. system. So to psychologically protect myself, I will make the extra effort to pr to pay attention to my stress levels and triggers. Stress management can protect that immune system. I say, I say it to you. Exactly. That's exactly what we're That's saying. Point. That's the point. Exactly. When yes. you're stressed, when you're bored, even when you're strained and taxed, yeah. is when you get you're more susceptible. Absolutely. Not that you get. You're more susceptible, you're more susceptible to, to the common cold. Absolutely, absolutely. Demona says, "Congratulations, yeah, Mr. Mrs. Bill yeah, Brown." Yeah. William He's Brown says, "Amen." And amen again, my brother. <laughs> 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 you had to overcome something. Even um, now, April the twenty third of this year. Excuse me, April the 29th of this year will be Lisa and I's five year wedding anniversary. Okay, April twenty third. We got married on April 23rd. April 23rd, yes. Yeah, okay. I don't never know the year, but I do know the day. I know the year. Okay, it's the 23rd. Okay, that's what 16? I said first. I heard you. Yeah, 16, yes. Okay, so I do know the April year. April 23rd, 2016. 2016. So this will be our fifth year. You don't even make it to five years without having to overcome something. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he, he didn't have to do anything because I oh. was doing <laughs> But I did have lots of challenges oh, to navigate oh, staying with him. I didn't have to overcome nothing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that part is hilarious. I am a joy. <laughs> but not only overcoming, but adjusting, growing is necessary. Learning. Learning. All those things are necessary. Um, Some tolerating. A lot of tolerating. Yeah. A lot of tolerating, a lot of um, uh, shutting up, and a lot of speaking up. All of that is <laughs> shutting up and speaking up. Yeah. Key. Well, you Critical got a cool component. You need them both. Absolutely. <laughs> you need I them. believe you need them both. Yeah, absolutely. You need them both. <laughs> Melissa says, Happy anniversary to Leela Brown and William Brown. It's a French toast and a mimosa morning for you too. Okay. I love that French toast and mimosa. Uh, Bill says, I know, right? I learned. Delita don't need an excuse. Myself. That's right. Go ahead, Delila. Go on and have you some. Sure, you know, um, Melissa says April 26th will be mine and Nate's 10 year anniversary. That's Congratulations. right. We're we're I learned some things himself. That's right. Absolutely. And absolutely. 10 year anniversary. These things should be celebrated. You know, celebrate good April 26th, celebrate your 10 years. You made it 10 years with Nathan and Nathan made it 10 years with, with you. you. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I want that for everybody, you know. So they can say their 10 year anniversary. I'm gonna keep Lisa 10 years. No. Yeah. And then we'll reevaluate. Okay. <laughs> I'm just ah, I had that vision one time. I even wrote it out. One time, one time I believe that marriages should be on five year contracts. I think so. I think that it will keep that it will keep people in the place of pursuing. 
Five year contract. That's what I appreciate about about you and about our relationship is that I don't ever feel taken uh, for granted. I don't know if I should say that out loud. I don't know if that's going to jinx it, but I don't feel I am taken for granted. I feel like each day there is something, whether it's big or small, something that shows me that you haven't decided, ah, she ain't going nowhere. There's always something and she ain't going that you have not decided that. Now, I think that some <laughs> relationships get to the place where uh, he ain't going nowhere. I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to smile. I don't have to say thank you. I don't have to lean over and give a kiss. I don't have to um, be pleasant. I don't. I don't have to use my happy voice. I don't know about you guys, but I know that sometimes when you're in complacent relationships, there you 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 stop using your happy voice, that voice that you use on the yeah. telephone. Mm-hmm. You know, and I and I don't feel that. Date voice. Chris Rock says the most romantic thing you can say to your wife. The most romantic thing you can say to your wife is, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. That depends on who the husband is. Because might be like, damn, what, what, what do I have to do to change this? This is not me. I ain't going nowhere. No, I think the most romantic thing that, I don't know, I think it depends. I, 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 I don't think that there's any one romantic thing. I think there's a lot to them. Bill says, what I've learned is my marriage is a yearly contract. It reminds me to stay present. I I would like to co-sign on that. But back on that point, I, I think it's I daily think even. At five years, I wrote out a I wrote out a whole program. An agreement. Agreement that <laughs> should last five years. And at the end of the five years, you should you get to decide. Now, if you if either one of the parties decide, well, I've had enough of this. You know, case closed. Both people leave the relationship with what they brought into it. Okay, mm-hmm. that's the thing. That that's the that would be the challenge. And the other challenge is if you have children. So yeah, that's kind it'll, of it'll keep you from having mm-hmm. children too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Josh, hey Josh, good morning. Josh says, or you could say, hey baby, the kids are asleep. Now that could be very mo- romantic. Ja, you about to have some sleeplessness coming up, honey. Yeah, that's going to be gone, honey. You, you about to have new bosses moving in at the end of the month. Absolutely. Right? That's right. Of, the new boss, baby Mina. I um, think it's why am I, I am so excited about baby Mina. Is this is my cousin, Annette. I have never seen you come to our show before, cousin. Now they pronounce her name Annette. Okay, because their country is hell. <laughs> That's my family. I love them very much. <laughs> Cuz, how you doing, cousin Annette? <laughs> Melissa says, John Smalls, yes, that part. The kids are asleep is the sexiest line of the day every day. <laughs> now, Melissa, that would make sense to her because her children are of that age where they could. Yes. And stay up drinking coffee, taking no dose. Yes, <laughs> Lord. John says, I'm already there. I hardly rest now. Well, you better try to find some naps now. See and if so you can should, um, store up. Uh, to make the- yeah, see if you can store up some sleep. Because yes. it's about to go down. I'm about to tell Myers, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Now, good morning. It's now 9.33. Um, we have pushed back the greeting songs to later and later in the show. But we're going to go ahead and take off on them now because last night, yesterday, we ran out of time, so we're not going to try to run out of time again today. We ran out. So now, we're... this show is called Let's Talk About It. Um, that lady here, here is Lisa Santiago McNeil. And I am Brian, Brian Keith, Keith McNeil. McNeil. And together we make up what's called the Empowerment Duo. This show is called Let's Talk About It, and it covers personal conversations. Business information. And spiritual inspiration. That's what we cover, okay? And we have an expressed ministry. Our expressed ministry is economic independence through entrepreneurship. That's it. Economic independence through entrepreneurship. Yeah. This show's been going since October of 2016. Okay, so we're into our fifth year now. Season five. Season five. So those of you who've been rocking with us for years or are consistent contributors to the show, you guys have earned a greeting song. Kelly Little, I got you a text about your greeting song, and I'm going to work it out. Okay. What do you got? I was born by the river <laughs> in a little tent. Oh, okay. little Just like that river I've been running ever since. It's been a long. I got to find something in there with Kelly Little. Okay. It'll be that part. It's been a long. Go ahead. A long time coming, but I know. 
change gonna come. Yeah, we'll have to put it in there. But I know Kelly Little. <laughs> it's in there somewhere, Kelly. It's, it's in that part, I'm saying. Okay, in that part? We're gonna yeah, work it out. But William Brown actually has an easy one. <clears throat> it goes, good morning to our friend Bill. Nobody thinks like him still. We love him so, and we always will. Our friend Bill. Good morning to our friend Bill. How you doing, man? I'm so excited that you're going to take part in Global Domination Mindset 2021. Our friend Julie Ray Hammertree is here. Julie Ray Hammertree. Find out what she means to me. Julie Ray Hammertree. Good morning, my sister. How you doing? Good my brother morning. Kelly Little, we are going to find your name in there. Billy Bronco is the first one we ever had a greeting logo for. And it goes, Billy Bronco. Oh, Billy Bronco. Oh, the DJ from the BX, baby. Now, if we ever forget that Billy Bronco was the first one that we had a logo for, he will remind us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And the head usher. Now, for Melissa Price's jam, you got to take a sip of water. Because if you don't take a sip of water, you ain't going to be able to make it through. Bam, 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 Melissa's on. Now it's time for us to sing her song. Melissa's on. Good morning, Miss Melissa Price, the head usher of Let's Talk About It. Our girl, Demona DeVruz here. Now, Demona has a logo. Because Demona by herself is a movement. She's a style. She's a presence. And it goes like, good morning. I'm Demona DeBru. And how are you? Demona <laughs> wants a song in 2021. Yes, put her foot down. We want a song for you, Demona. But right now you got a logo. Okay? Absolutely. Open the net has a... <clears throat> At this table we sit. Making it legit. Because when Lynette hits the show... Oh, good morning, Lynette. And Lynette has hit the show today. Who's next? Beverly's here. Dr. Beverly's here. Dr. Beverly is on the show. Good morning, Dr. Beverly. How you doing, girl? Miss Phyllis is here. So clear the way. Miss Phyllis is here. Now we can all have a great day. That's Miss Phyllis Barnett. Uh, Michelle DeWitt, we got to find you something, sister. Tamara Atwood is here. Tamra at water. Tamra at water. Children, Tamra at water. I be healing for saying Tamra at water. Good morning, Tamra at water. How you doing? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Lisa Dixon, good, wishing Lisa a happy belated Lisa. birthday. And she's actually going to be joining us today at noon. I'm so excited to have her there. Thank you, Keisha, um, Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. Thank you. What does Keisha do? Keisha is a, a mindset masters, helping people to double their income because of the way they think about their money. She's a practitioner of the tapping and all of that stuff. So NLP. Um, NLP, uh, Miss Vivian is here. Oh, uh, Vivian. Vivian Reed is here. Vivian Reed is here. here and now the show can go on. Oh, now we don't nice. we don't profess to be singers, but we love to make a noise to help our people, our, our consistent contributors. Feel welcome. Lisa Ja, ja is here. Ja is in the house. Boom boom. Ja is in the house. What's up, Ja? How you doing? The Coach Ja, his show follows our show. Five minutes after we end, Coach Ja show begins right here on the same network that you're watching right now. That's right. That's right. Good morning. Uh, Vivian says, Rhino's Hero. Rhino's Hero team. Timothy Johnson, man, I've been looking for you. I have called you. I have texted you. I needed some advice from you, man. <laughs> We've been seeking you out, but I am so grateful that you came so that we could say hello. Good, Good morning, morning, man. And thank you for my birthday wishes. I appreciate it. How about Kelly's song to Notorious B.I.G.? Kelly, Kelly, uh, Kelly, Kelly, can't see you sometimes. Your words just, um, oh. Kelly, 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 can't you see? Sometimes, sometimes your words just hypnotize me. Kelly, 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 can't you see? 
Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. What do you think, Kelly Little? Now, that's a suggestion from my friend Melissa Price. And Melissa has done a couple of people's songs. I know. But she's been good. Song. Yeah. She's helped us find her song. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I like that. Um, but Kelly, it's up Kelly, to Kelly. Me, Kelly. Can't you see? Sometimes, Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. And I just love your Jazzy Wings. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Make sure that you know that. Um, Kelly, tell us if you like that. And the Empowerment Network is growing. The Empowerment Network family is growing, evolving, and all so many things. We are we are available on Roku. You guys need to know that. And we are going to be doing some big pushes. So you can have us up on the big screen in your living room and have the family gathered around and all of that. And we'll show you how to connect to it and all of that as we move forward. Because remember, 2021 is global domination. Now, understand our YouTube channel is doing getting more popular. Uh, Sister Badar, um, our, our admin has been doing a good job of adding to YouTube. Yeah, so you want to make sure that you subscribe there. Once we get to 100 subscribe subscribers, then we will be able to brand the channel, and that'll be the first step to actually evolve. We should be able to get 100 subscribers to the YouTube channel today. Yes, uh, good morning, brother Richard so, Lynch Brown. How you doing? We definitely want you to do that. Yeah, we could do that now. Uh, on on YouTube, it's uh, the Empowerment Duo. What is it? On YouTube, it's ESP TV Seven. ESP TV Seven. Can you put that up there in the chat somewhere? Go to ESP TV Seven and um, um, subscribe with us. Hang out with us. Y'all here anyway? And that way, we can even be able to pull even more content and excitement into the network. So we started the show off today talking about. You and the common cold. And it's because we learned that people get common colds when they're tired, when they're physically or mentally tired, or their body needs a break, or their minds need a break. If they don't, they get a cold. Interesting thing about it, and also people who don't, people who are happier, people who have goals, targets, and are going for stuff, or, or maybe like Beverly mentioned earlier, are too busy to get a cold, they tend to not get them. They just don't get a cold. They're, they're busy. They're working on something. They're going for something. They're too busy to get a cold. They don't have time to catch a cold. Interesting thing about another interesting thing about a common cold is when you get a cold and you get the medicine to help you with the symptoms, okay, um, the cold will last about seven days. Mm -hmm. So if you get a cold and you take all the medicines for the stuffy, sneezing, coughing, head, coughing, aching, stuff you have people so you can rest medicines. When you get all that kind of stuff, the cold lasts about seven days. If you get a cold <clears throat> and you decide to take no medicine at all. The cold lasts about, about a week. <laughs> Fix one, half a dozen, <laughs> another. Thank you, Ja. Ja says, I'm already subscribed. I just double checked. Thank I have you. A little, Thank you. Over 200 subscribers. 2021 is on. It is it's on. on. It Thank is you, Ja. On. And we are taking all of our content contributors with us onto the Roku channel as well. Right now, you guys are already on the SIDN network with us as well. Yes. Many of them did not know that we are extending, expanding our reach every day. We are partnering with other um, networks people. and other amazing people to continue to build and grow because it is my desire to enter into global domination now, in 2021. Listen to what Lisa just said. It is her what? Desire to what? Enter into global domination. Now, there's power in being able to even answer the question of what is it that you desire? Because desire is the starting point of all achievements. Now, that didn't come out of my brain. I read it in the classic book, Think and Grow Rich. It says right there, desire is the starting point. And actually, the word they used was riches at first. And then they come back and say all achievement. But the first part, desire is the starting point of all riches. And then later in the chapter, it says desire is the starting point of all achievement. Yeah, I tell I've read that book once or twice. Yes. ESP TV 7 is the um, YouTube channel, ESP TV 7. And we would love for you to go there and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. On YouTube. On YouTube. Okay. All right, so good. So how are you feeling? Do you feel jazzed up about the day? Okay, is there anything today? Here's a good question. Do you have anything today that you're looking forward to doing? That you're excited about doing? Today. 
Absolutely. Bill said, if you get a cold, I mean, excuse me, Josh said, if you get a cold, just make sure you're extra nice to your partner. Your cold will last just a few nights. Wink, wink. Wink. Yeah. <laughs> you can knock that thing right out. <laughs> Sweat that thing right on out. Sweat it on out. Sweat it on out. <laughs> but the best thing to do is to prevent. As the manager mindset as much as you can. And of course, uh, get rest. Uh, continue to increase your energetic inspirations because you want to. Good morning, Richard. You want to have a. Um, you want to have a healthy mind so that you can have a healthy body yes, as yes. well. And if you need any help, you want to jumpstart, make sure that you register and join now us. Take your time. Look at the people that we have assembled. Up first is Mr. Marlon Smith. Uh, he's the um, the real money coach. Marlon Smith has spoken all over the world. He spoke in South Africa for half a year. They booked him as a speaker there. Um, other great speakers know and love him. Next, we've got Brother Cortez Springer. Cortez is the um, the uh, the money mentor, the healthy money mentor. What is it? Yeah. The healthy money mentor. We were on his show earlier today. He's also another amazing thought leader. 100,000 people tune into his show, daily show. 100,000 plus. We got Mr. William Brown, the Go Be You coach. The Go Be You coach. He's an author, speaker, a leader in the community and around his friends. He's also a leader. But the Go Be You coach, Mr. William Brown, is going to also, they're all going to share thoughts around how you can have global, have a global domination mindset. You got Brother Brian McNeil, the sales confidence coach. He's going to talk about your purpose. He's going to talk about why you need to have, why you can be more confident about your days. We got Sir Charles Carey. Sir Charles Carey, radiate the brain. And change the game. And change the game. Radiate the brain. He's got four amazing books about that. Sir Charles Carey was on the television show, The, the Speaker. You know, where they had all these great speakers. No, the keynote is what it was called. And these great speakers stay in the house down in Florida. And they go through these little games and challenges and all that kind of stuff. But he was a participant in that. Sir Charles Carey speaks all over the nation. And he's expensive to book. But he just happens to be one of our friends. we got Sir Johnny Campbell, the transition man. At one time, the number one Toastmaster speaker. He won a public speaking competition through in Toastmasters in the United States. Toastmasters, several several Toastmasters are in every city. And Magic coming out number one in that competition. Our friend Johnny Campbell did that one time, and he's going to be here as well. He calls himself the transition man, and we agree. And we also got Dr. Frank Marshall. Dr. Frank Marshall, he's not only a very successful businessman, but he likes to list himself just as an encourager. Now, if you if you know people by the company that they keep, Dr. Frank Marshall, he hangs out with billionaires with a B. Okay. Billionaires with a B is his friends. Okay, come on, man. Billionaires. <laughs> you want to be there. You can register right now in the description box. The link is there for you to register. Again, it will be live. It is free, but it will be taken down within 24 hours. And after that, you can only watch the replay where they're going to drop all of these nuggets if you are registered. Register, register anyway. Okay, register with the intention of being there, but register just in case life throws you something you can't. But if you're <laughs> registered, you still can benefit. Register. Sister Cat Carchado, good morning. Uh, what is the jam for cat? What's new, kitty cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, kitty cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beverly says seven day reset after the cold shut down period, and your body resets itself for the next. Phase. Amen. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Amen. So it's already 948. We don't got much time left because we got to get out of here. Make room for coffee time with the coach. Coffee time with Coach John. We are going to have him right here at 10 o'clock following us. And then, of course, at 11 o'clock, you will have um, Bill Brown today's word. Now, we one of the cool things that came out of our time with uh, Cortez on the Cortez Social Show is, um, and I mentioned it, I did a video on this. I'm going to bring it up right now. Cortez introduced to me last week this thing called the E to E ratio. The E to E ratio. He learned it from um, Dr. George Scott. Dr. I'm a, George Dr. Frazier. George Frazier, excuse me. The E to E ratio. And then he had a question around it today. But the E to E ratio is how much time do you spend in entertainment Versus education. 
How much time do you spend entertaining yourself versus how much time do you spend educating yourself? For example, if you spend 21 hours on a weekend watching football, 21 hours on a weekend watching football, how much of that time, that's all entertainment. And how much education? Let's say I spent 21 hours watching football and 30 minutes educating myself. My E to E ratio is off. So with that being said, how much time are you spending now on a daily basis studying or improving yourself in some kind of a way? Absolutely. Absolutely. Following Coach Ja at 10 o'clock is 11 o'clock. Uh, one word conversations with Bill Brown, William Brown, right here on the Empowerment Duo Facebook page on the Empowerment Network. The word of the day is genuine. genuine. <laughs> it's genuine. <laughs> it's genuine today. Genuine. Keeping it real. Genuine. That's now, why genuine. are things that are genuine more expensive than copies? Okay. And you also want to tune in here with me today at 4 p.m. Today at 4 p.m., my special co-host is Soy Kamara, and she is going really? to be coffee, coffee time with Soy. Coffee time with Soy. She's going to be co-hosting with me for yeah, eight years. years. Couple years. We have caught up to uh, this month. We spend a lot of time on the phone, going back and forth. You are going to have a good time on today's show. We're looking forward to it. And today's show at four o'clock is called. Live with Lisa Santiago, special co-host. Yeah. Special co-host today is Soy Coffee Time with Soy, and we are going to be bringing that to you. Is this in New York? I think so. Yeah, but these are national people. Coffee Time with Soy, you know, or John Smalls. We know some national people, y'all. Come on now. <laughs> we got some great friends. Think about it today. Now I said. Um, I asked the question, Mama, how much time do you spend each day studying or self-improvement? OK, now I answered the question, too, because early in my professional career, I read somewhere that professional salespeople should study their craft for 30 minutes to an hour each day before you go to work. And I did that. I was so green and growing. Anything, any of the books that do, I was willing to try it. OK, anything. And some of it was unworkable, but I was willing to try anything. So I got up early and I started reading for 30 minutes to an hour every day in my field. And what happened was as I was turning pages, I started to get better at my game and I started to get more confident in my game. And I started to make more sales just because of what I was reading about. I was infusing myself around success. OK, and some of the stuff they were teaching me what to do, but some of it was just inspiring to me. But it was getting me right every morning. And I showed up to work already mentally warmed up because I was studying. And I didn't think any of my other salespeople around me were studying like me. I know they weren't. So they were they were having to warm up when they got to the game, okay? Champions warm up before the game. Amateurs practice on their best prospects, okay? I wasn't practicing on my best prospects. I was warmed up. That's true. Absolutely, absolutely. So let today be your great Wednesday. It's evaluation day. You should be taking some stock over how Monday and Tuesday went for you. My Tuesday was quite relaxing. I got my nails done. Yes, they happened to have been her birthday yesterday. And my feet done. She got her I'm nails and feet done. Feet. I'm not going to put my feet on here. I also but she got the same color on her nails on her toes. Yes, I did get the same color. I think and she also got a full body massage yesterday. Yes, deep tissue. A deep tissue. None of that play, 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 Swedish tickle, tickle, tickle. No, get in there. You want to get, 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 yeah, get, yeah, get, yeah, get in there. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, get in there. That's how they did it? Yes, that's how he did it. He did right. it. So she went and got herself a deep tissue, full body massage. Yeah. And her hands and feet done on her birthday. On my birthday. I had a little piece of cheesecake, too. On her birthday? On my birthday. <laughs> Which is cool. But today, she had cheesecake and she ate badly yesterday. She ate badly yesterday on her birthday. But today, we're going to attempt to, um, we're going to reset in these up. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. Lots and lots of water, nothing but healthy intake all day today. And um, that is a product of evaluating the days before and deciding to do something to improve, do something differently to improve. You may the want two to questions to ask yourself on evaluation. Day. Question number one, mm -hmm. what am I doing correctly? Ask yourself and answer to yourself, 
What, am, what are you doing the right way when it comes to your life or even kind of the right way? It don't even have to be 100% the right way, even kind of the right way. There's a power that happens when you ask yourself, what am I doing the right way? And then you can find an answer to that question. It, it, it infuses you with more confidence and it makes you feel better about yourself. So what am I doing the right way? Answer. And question number two is if I had this time to do over again, and we're like Lisa just said, we're talking about only for this week. If I had this time to do over again, what would I have done differently? Not what did I do wrong, but what would I have done differently? Message. Message. We look forward to it. We thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I am Lisa Santiago McNeil. I'm Brian Keith McNeil. And this has been Let's Talk About It on ESP TV 7 on the SIBN Network, iHeart, iTunes, Roku, and right here on Facebook Live. And remember that your life is not a scrimmage or a practice game. There is no martyrs, Hall of Fame. Time this feaster takes its toll. And for all of us, every day really is the Super Bowl. So God bless you and go forward and live your Super Bowl life today. Remember that you are blessed by the blessor to be a blessing. Permission to be amazing has already been granted. Go ahead. You should have sex.